The journey that changed football forever started with one player who walked these hallways, what was then Central High School in Fort Wayne, Indiana, a brutal racist attack on the gridiron that would secure the safety of all future athletes. His body had been criminalized in a sport he was playing that he loved. It was a blind side, cheap shot. I've, it's one of the dirtiest plays I've ever seen. When you see those pictures in that context, it's hard to believe that that could happen. But it did. A gridiron in Oklahoma, 1951. It's like the racial injustice just comes to life. A battleground that still haunts Deanie Bright Johnson nearly 70 years later. Nightmares of her dad, the best college football player in the country with a broken jaw and zero sympathy from the stands. People just, oh, that's the way it is. That's the way we play football. I mean, that's, that's, that's a terrible, terrible situation. Johnny Bright, Drake University superstar, Johnny Bright explodes into the end had been the first black player ever to step in this stadium. On this visit, opponent Will Banks Smith wanted to make sure he'd never come back. I was in the press box at the time, and two or three plays, I said, boy, they're really getting after John, you know. He was watching his teammate run the ball, so he let his guards down just for a moment. Then, a devastating blow to his exposed, unprotected face. Moments later, a second strike, and then a third. But before his team carried his limp body off the field, he launched a statement 61-yard touchdown pass, ready to be the face that changed the safety of the game forever. The best way to retaliate is to be great. And that's a page that you could take from Johnny Bright. A lifetime of leaving witnesses in awe. And you couldn't beat him. It was unbelievable. He moved like a cat. I can remember getting, trying to tackle him, and he had those long legs and those knees hitting you. I can still feel that yet. My head going back. He was hard to bring down. And here is Johnny Bright putting 14 yards into the statistics. Johnny Bright's legend took off in Fort Wayne, Indiana, from Central High School Phenom all the way to the Canadian Football Hall of Fame, schools, awards, and stadiums inspired by his name. My dad would say football, sports is the vehicle. His love and his passion was educating people. On the true spirit of a champion, Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. I have never seen this. I mean, I haven't seen this jersey. Number 24, Edmonton Eskimos. Oh my gosh. You know, even though my dad isn't with me anymore, when I've needed a, a booster encouragement and my dad comes through for me. Thank you so much. And her dad comes through for all of us. Every time we see a football helmet, right after the attacks on him in Oklahoma, a national conversation on player safety fired up. The NCAA would soon require all players in the league to wear face masks. As the discussion grew, the NFL would make the same requirement several years later, making Bright's impact on this global game 
undeniable. Right runs wild for the goal line, and the Eskimos are back in the lead. I mean, the biggest thing, like with football, is that you know it, it's, it's under attack with concussions. I mean, you got to be kind of borderline crazy to run out there with this plastic helmet and no face mask. You know, it has to truly be a love for the game. Where now, you know, our kids are, you know, they're 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 more safe. They're taught proper fundamentals as far as tackling, as far as how to take contact, how to land. And then, you know, with the addition of the face mask, you know, thanks to Johnny Bright, I mean, our game is much safer. What would your dad say if he could see all the players wearing face masks today? He would say it's absolutely amazing. He'd probably have tears in his eyes and say, you know what, we've really come a long way. Oklahoma State University gave the Bright family a formal apology two decades after he passed away, about 55 years after the incident. Kai Torquay, Wayne 15 News.